in this video, I'm going to explain to you the benefits of literally just going outside and experiencing some sunlight every once in a while. So subscribe and stick around to the end to implement these tips and tricks into your life. Now, the first benefit, it's the main benefit, it's the one you've probably heard of the most, and it's the fact that sunlight, and specifically the UV rays inside of sunlight, help to increase your, like, vitamin D levels inside of your bloodstream. It helps in the synthesis of vitamin D, and vitamin D is a vitamin, obviously that means it's going to be healthy for you. It helps give you strong bones and regulate your mineral levels, specifically calcium, which also is said to help you give strong bones. And... Obviously, you can have vitamin D deficiencies like rickets where your bones aren't even strong enough to kind of support your weight and they sort of morph and bend outward. Or you get osteoporosis where your bones become brittle and you become more susceptible to like breaking them and getting like lots of joint pain and arthritis in the future. And but there was still one benefit of vitamin D, which no one really talks about and it's probably responsible for all the other benefits of vitamin D. And it's the fact that vitamin D increases your testosterone levels. A study that was done showed that men taking vitamin D supplementation like saw a 30% increase in testosterone levels and it was said that at least exposing yourself to sunlight for like an hour a day would increase your testosterone levels by at least 10%. That is a massive increase and obviously testosterone is something that is incredibly useful for male reproductive health, female reproductive health and so many more things like it's probably the reason that you it gives you strong bones because testosterone is responsible for making your bones more dense when you go through puberty as a young man. And uh, the second benefit is the fact that sunlight is also responsible in the synthesis of serotonin, which is the happiness hormone, not to be confused with dopamine, which is known as the pleasure hormone. The dopamine pleasure hormone is something that says when you do something that you like, it's kind of the hormone that spikes the dopamine levels spike and it's kind of says to kind of do it again and that is how people develop bad habits because their um, dopamine levels spike when they eat things like sugar and jerk off and like scroll on social media their dopamine levels kind of spike and it tells them to kind of carry on doing it again that is how bad habits develop however serotonin is the happiness hormone and it is kind of the thing that makes you grateful and makes you appreciate things and just gives you a general sense of calm and happiness it helps your mental health because obviously it's making you happier and in like my assemblies in school we used to get told that mental health um if you like went outside your mental health would be better and people often kind of like brushed that off and said it was bullshit and they kept on doing their bad habits and eventually they just like see a therapist if they were feeling badly however the school weren't actually wrong for once going outside and exposing yourself to sunlight genuinely increases and makes your mental health better because it increases your serotonin and obviously who wouldn't want their mental health to be good and who wouldn't want to go outside and specifically just appreciate nature to help benefit their mental health and the third benefit is that sun sunlight and specifically uv rays again also help in the synthesis of another hormone melatonin now melatonin you may know is the kind of sleep regulation hormone and it's the hormone that is kind of responsible for your circadian rhythm which is like the time that you generally sort of wake up and go to sleep. So like you think of kind of tribal people, they don't really have clocks and stuff. They don't really have sort of time to go to bed at 10 o'clock because they don't really know times, right? However, the sun is kind of their sort of guiding thing. And the sun is what guides them to go to bed at this time and go like wake up when they wake up when the sun kind of comes out in the morning and like the the sunlight that they immediately experience gives them like a boost of melatonin which is then like useful when you go back to sleep uh back in the evening it's such like a interesting process interesting scientific process which i haven't done quite enough research to properly understand but i'll probably do an entire video on just like sleeping and sleep cycle very soon once i kind of sort my own sort of sleep cycles out to get it more optimal for myself and an actionable step that you can take to improve your circadian rhythm improve your sleep cycle is when you wake up in the morning just take a look outside like open up your curtains your blinds whatever you have and just kind of look outside and let your eyes acclimatize let your brain acclimatize let the uv rays kind of go through your window open up your like maybe you have an openable window and you just kind of stick your head out and breathe in the fresh air 
that's kind of what I do. I wake up in the morning and if it's time for me to get up, then I'll open up my curtains, open up my blinds, um, put open up my window and like stick my head out and just kind of let the sunlight kind of douse over me or whatever. And then I get on to doing my shower and my morningly activities or whatever. And this is so good for just your general health. And I really recommend setting in this morning routine where you check the time and then immediately kind of go outside. I mean, going outside is obviously much better than just looking outside your window. However, for some people that is not like physically attainable and just going out, just opening up your window is more than enough to like set your kind of circadian rhythm. And that will be so beneficial to you for the long term future. And this can also help with productivity and sunlight is something that helps with productivity, which is the fourth benefit. Now, obviously, as I talked about my morning routine before, what I do is I get up, I check the time. If it's not time like for me to get up, like it's six or seven, then I'll just go back to bed. However, if it's time for me to get up, then I'll open up my curtains, open up my blinds, look out the window, look at the sun, open up the window and kind of breathe in the fresh air. Then I'll get on to doing maybe my journaling, my meditation. I'll get on to doing some ab exercises and then I'll have like a shower. And this is when like I really start to kind of feel the sort of rejuvenating properties of my morning routine like I feel refreshed and washed and then when I have my breakfast and I get ready to go to school or get ready to do some work and studying revision or record and script these videos I just feel so much more productive because I experience I experience sunlight and I had a shower which kind of just seemed to amplify the effects of the sunlight it's like a it was like a weird phenomenon I just feel so much more refreshed after having a shower than just like waking up getting out of bed opening up my curtains and then getting on to do my work in like a dark kind of room because another i feel like you know when people like revise in the 4 a.m kind of mornings they'll get up at four to revise they won't do the kind of things that i said to do and they will find themselves less productive than if they literally just opened up their curtains looked at the light outside had a shower and then got down to do their work. That is something that just makes you feel 10 times more productive, makes me personally feel 10 times more productive than if I just kind of got up and just immediately started doing work, which I sometimes do. And comparing that to what I do now, it is like nothing. I get so much more done. I feel so much more refreshed, like my face. I just feel so much more woken up and my muscles feel like relaxed. They're not like tight and my eyes aren't being strained by the fact that I'm kind of staring at my book or my computer screen with like a little kind of lamp on or something and I feel like that's the main reason that people kind of almost go insane when they're in like a dark kind of room they're in like a dark claustrophobic room and if they've not got claustrophobia then I feel like the main reason that people actually go insane inside of those dark rooms is because they're not actually being exposed to any sunlight and this obviously is going to screw up their vitamin d levels their serotonin levels, their melatonin levels, and the fact that these things aren't being regulated is going to just mean that their internal kind of bodily stuff is just not going well for them, and their brain just ends up kind of going crazy, and they like they can't sleep because of obviously the melatonin, and things just go wrong for them. And if they're not claustrophobic, then I genuinely feel like a lack of sunlight is the reason that people go insane in like those kind of dark, cramped spaces. So that's about all, and I'm just explaining to you the benefits of actually going outside and experiencing sunlight and a few actionable steps that you can kind of do to make your mornings more productive and better, literally just by kind of looking outside and going outside and seeing the sunlight. So if you need any, anything else, any other help on anything kind of self-improvement related, my coaching calls are in the link in the description. If you don't feel like I gave you enough value, then you get a 100% refund. And I recommend subscribing because it's free. And I love this community of young tribal men who are willing to improve themselves so much more than they already have. So good luck.